What is up, guys? We're here with an update video for Rust, and look at this. It is raining in Rust. That's right, we have weather. Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely really cool. Uh, about time that this got added. And uh, it, there's varying fog, uh, types of rain. I think they're working on thunder sounds, but I don't think we have, like, storms quite yet. Uh, but it rains pretty simple uh, makes you wet and I think if you get wet enough you get cold so uh, that's pretty much the basic idea there and uh, you can be protected by it, um, in any kind of shelter so if you're gonna go under let's say a cave or supposedly let's see if we can go underneath this monument we should stop getting wet Maybe not. Oh, yep, there we go. It's starting to go down. So anything that shelters you from uh, the being physically hit will stop the wetness, which is cool. Um, and then uh, we also have snow. So as you can see, there we go. We've got snowfall going on. Very cool. Um, these are the early um, parts of it, so I'm sure we'll have like snowy storms and this and that. Uh, the weather can vary already. There's also varying wind speeds, so, um, you know, again, not really a storm quite yet, but uh, definitely there can be heavier snow and heavier rain. So right now we've got a pretty light rain um, slash snow going on. Nothing too serious. Uh, rain doesn't puddle up or anything, and snow doesn't pile on things yet. I know that's something they do plan on doing eventually. I think they like the idea of if you don't maintain your base, snow could uh, collapse in your ceiling or roof. So that's definitely a really cool feature. Um, but uh, the different biomes, of course, have um, different effects. Um, I don't know if it's uh, like Minecraft and we don't have rain in the desert, so I'm actually very curious. Um, oh, here's a cave, and so the cave should work just like the monument did. Oh, wow, it works even better. That wet is coming down super fast. So it looks like if you're wet and in the snow, it definitely goes down a lot quicker. Uh, I guess it looks like um i'm sorry it goes down slower and looks like uh, rain keeps you at a consistent 35 percent wetness here is what we're seeing let's see that's a sandy beach that's not a desert let's find that desert let's see we're gonna transition to snow here nope still rain so that's kind of cool so if we're in a biome that would normally have rain anyways, but we're in a snowy peak. Oh no, no, there here comes the snow. Oh, it's a mix of snow and rain. Interesting. Okay. But as you can see, I feel like it's getting almost foggier by the moment here. Is this desert? Yeah, here we go. Here, heading off into the desert here. So are we still raining? Ooh. Rain picked up and we do have some thunder noises. Okay, very cool. I don't know if you guys heard that over me talking. Hmm. Let's see, can we turn up volume here a bit? Oh, yeah, there we go. Very nice. I mean, I had to turn up the volume almost all the way just to hear the rain, really. Uh, so it's not like Minecraft or some other games where the rain is just overpowering, um, which I feel it should only be that way in a storm. But it's definitely uh, picking up here. You can hear some rumbling, so it's very, very cool. Um, let's see. Another thing I wanted to check is does clothes reduce wetness? So let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, we're gonna give ourselves like a bucket helmet and uh, some pants. Uh, let's see. T shirt, t shirt, t shirts. Why am I so blind right now? 
green t-shirt. Why not? Okay. So, let's see if this helps us. I'd assume it probably doesn't, which I'm sure they'll probably add some kind of raincoat. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't make a difference at all. So that's definitely cool. Um, but, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. We've got weather. Oh. Picking up a little more with some wind there. Uh, so, very cool. Something we've all been waiting for for quite some time. Um, and the water collectors are affected by this, which is cool. Um, so now you can properly collect water quickly um, when the chance arises. So not only does it just collect from, like, fog, like we were doing before, um, oops, it also fills, uh, from rain. Let's see here. Are you not gonna fill from the rain? It's raining on you. Uh, maybe that's not fully implemented quite yet. Um, but, uh, the other thing they so far have added in this update is a lot of bug fixes. Uh, so, like, dragging stuff from your inventory, uh, if you drop things they, uh, that are the same, they'll go into the maximum size stack. You can't drag more than the same stack. Um, let's see, the bolt action, they have supposedly fixed it, so let's go ahead and pull out the bolt. Uh, when it comes to the iron sights. Oh yeah, that is a lot better. That's definitely a lot better iron sights. Oh, we're out of ammo there. Um, but they've just been tweaking a lot of stuff uh, that people have asked for, um, which is really cool. So if you want to check out the full list of uh, bugs, bug fixes, and so forth, check out the Rust Twitter. Uh, it's just pages and pages of stuff from Gary. Um, and all the stuff they have uh, changed, and that's cool someone's calling me right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the other thing, they are implementing the... Okay, anyways. Um, they are implementing the kind of scrap metal stop sign armor that we saw last week. Um, so if you... Uh, I'll, I'll toss a poster, picture of it right here. Um, that should be in. Uh, they've also done like a riot helm um, made out of like a baseball helmet, uh, which I'll put a picture of it right here. And that should be in. I'm not sure if they finished the pistol. Haven't seen anything on that yet. Um, but yeah, it looks like mostly this is going to be a bug fix and weather update. Which I think is cool. Weather adds something new to the game. It's something cool to enjoy. It's atmospheric. Uh, one more step towards that PvE element that we need in the game. Uh, let's see if this guy's starting to fill up. Okay, so there it is. It's it's starting to now. I guess it was just being a little slow. Um, but yeah, no, no other really big additions to the game so far. I think we're looking at our the next two big updates being the new weapon system and uh, electricity. So electricity, um, I think they're everyone's hoping it's going to be this next big wipe update. I I hope so too, but I think it's going to be longer. I bet they need about another month or so to iron it out, but we'll see. Maybe they'll slowly start putting things in. Um, but uh, the other update, I guess the big thing they're working on is the new weapon system, and that's going to be you craft weapons by parts. So you're going to put a, a, a stock on and a magazine and a slider and a barrel and a scope or a laser sight. You know, so you're, you're going to have to build guns by parts. And you're going to have to find parts um, to get, you know, the full gun. Uh, I don't know if that means there's going to be a blueprint per part. Um, I mean... That's a progression system, I think, that we definitely need, but that also might be a little too tedious. So we'll see what they end up doing, but I'm excited to see that. I love games where you can just customize the parts. Um, I, it'd be even cooler if they have better rarities or better qualities, um, so you can constantly upgrade your gun. It would definitely give you more of an incentive, instead of having boxes upon boxes of guns, to actually keep your gun. Um, because it will feel more like yours. So that's something that's very exciting. Um, so I can't wait to see that. Uh, on Gary's uh, Ask FM account, he said two weeks until that system, but he's a sarcastic dude, um, and the fact that we've seen nothing about it, I'm not sure on that timeline. Um, 
Uh, that's also where he said about 30 days for electricity about a week ago. So we'll see what they do. Um, one way or another, I'm excited for that stuff. I hope you guys are excited about the weather system and uh, that you enjoyed this uh, first look at it. Uh, don't forget to click that like button, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye.